what is happening everybody welcome to the channel and you know what i i feel like the luckiest man in the world there is so much so much music that i never really uh watched or listened to and now i get to experience it at a time of my life where i probably would en enjoy and appreciate it a lot more than than i would have one of the artists that i've come to just love by finally checking his stuff out is prince thought about prince because we did um a live stream with my wife and we talked about how like uh jay-z was complaining about his wife not w winning the the album uh, of the year the grammy right and and we started debating with everyone on on the chat like was that a racial thing and we looked up like who are some of these artists that just crushed it in the Grammys and Prince was one of them. And I was like, man, we need to check out some more Prince. So I went through our historical, you know, tips and donations. And, and I found one from a long time ago from Oscar. Oscar, thank you so much. He says, Sebs, your excitement and passion for music is contagious. I saw Prince live 17 times in 80,000 stadiums to 500 person venues. Those small venue performances must have been amazing. It was spiritual to see him live, Oscar. I love that description. Check out his Play That Funky Music performance sometime. Cheers. Well, I found one and we're going to check it out. I'm almost like, should I change the colors back there to be purple in, in remembrance for, for a Prince? Yes, we do. So let's, uh, let's just enjoy, sit back. There's a lot of things in the world to be concerned about, but music and great master musicians can take us away from our brain, get us into a, a, a better place so that we can then tackle the things we got to tackle. So let's do this. Got to turn it up for me. Man, seeing him live, man. Like, what is he wearing? But... That's power, bro. You can work with stuff like that and it's all like, and it's like dope. Oh. Yeah, dude. I need a Telecaster! What a production, man. The groove in. I think I know the words. Girl's killing it. Okay. One of the most iconic guitar riffs of all time, right? And then we have Prince uh, playing it, which is just dope. I haven't thought about this until this moment. Um, the origins of this song, like very intriguing. It's a song that if it plays in a party, I mean, again, I grew up in like around the world, right? Like I lived in seven different countries growing up. This someone would play this song. We would look at our white friends like iconic for this. Wild Cherry was a hard rock cover band. The group found it increasingly difficult to book gigs. The band resisted, uh, you know, wanting to being tagged uh, of the, with the stigma of being disco. So while playing at a club called the 2001 Club on the north side of Pittsburgh, to a predominantly black audience, a, pa a patron said to band member, however you pronounce that during a break, are you going to play some funky music, white boys? Parisi grabbed a pen and order pad and wrote the song in about five minutes. The, the lyrics literally describe the predicament of a hard rock band adjusting to the disco era. Fascinating. Because the thing is that it is such a funky song, right? Here we go. Turn it up. Oh.
He's such a good guitarist, man. Dude, I can listen to him solo on this guitar all day, bro. This performance is 13 minutes long. <laughs> oh gosh, dude. Dude, he's like going with like a little bit more of a Yeah. The entire band is amazing. <laughs> what are they wearing on their feet? Oh! That's a brilliant mashup, dude. Brilliant mashup. Man, like, you know, like, you sometimes just feel, like, cheated in life a little bit. Like, I will, I will, like, just that fact that I can never experience this, you know? Like, gosh, dang it. Like, that's so brilliant. This reminds me of Grand Theft Auto Vice City, bro. We're just playing all of these like funky classics, bro. Like that voice is so good. To become a bad, I said super bad. Super bad guitar player. <laughs> yes. What you got to say? Can't wait. Sorry, pause. I just want to ask one of you guys. These these things right here on their their feet, right? Like these things. What are those? Uh, where we at, Joe? Sure. 
This is so fun, man. Give it to me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I thought that song was called, was Hollywood. Hollywood swinging. Doesn't matter. Do that again. Come on. Dude, this must be so much fun, bro. Going to something like this. What is he gonna do here? Wait, so he got a bass guitar now? So he's just gonna. Jeez. He's just gonna flex on us how he can play every instrument known to man, isn't he? Oh, yeah. And he's gonna flex on us his dancing that's why this is gonna be so long he's gonna literally flex on every instrument I just can't believe the talent, dude. What's he gonna do now? What's he gonna do now? What's he gonna do now? His concert is literally like, bro, I just like playing these instruments. Can I just play them for like 15 minutes and have everyone watch? And everyone's like, frick yes. What's he gonna do now? He's gonna do something. What's he gonna do? Now he's just gonna... Dude, it's amazing how all these songs go together so perfectly. It was actually not crazy. It's, it makes sense. But.
Yeah. Is this how they ended the concert? <laughs> That's cool, man. So that was that was the encore. I actually don't know this song. Fantastic Voyage? leave the stage but he's still like emceeing essentially that's awesome ah dude is there like a is there a video where we see Prince play, like, every instrument? Comment down below. Let me know. He's so good, dude. He is so good. That was so fun to watch. He can do everything, but this is what stood out to me, bro. The way he was going around, though, and, and having these interactions with the musicians and his band and whatnot, and you could tell he loves them and they love him, dude. So he was a good dude. He was... He had all of this talent and it's probably he was just like he probably watched a james brown video and he's like man he dances amazing i just i'm just gonna learn how to dance like that and he did he heard a great bass line it's like i want to learn how to play that and just get freaking perfect at the bass guitar let's i mean if you've watched any of our other videos like his guitar playing he's become like my favorite guitarist he does everything but with all of that like obsessiveness in music because it's his passion he loves people at least that's what I, I think. We're starting a little tent company on the side with some of the the funds that were that you know that all of you guys who tip and donate to the channel, thank you so much because you help me just do some fun stuff here. Like look, overwhelmingly positive comments all around. And it, commenters appreciated Prince's talent and performance skills. It is evident that many people were amazed by his talent. A great musician, a virtuoso on any instrument, and a fantastic performer and singer. Commenters highlighted the importance of Prince's unique style and personality. Several commenters uh, comments uh, mentioned Prince's personal ex eccentricities and how they overshadowed his talent. However, they also acknowledged that his unique style and personality made him stand out as an artist. I don't think it overshadowed, right? I think it was just, yeah, helped him stand out. Helped him stand out for sure, but... And then commenters expressed nostalgia and longing for Prince, mentioning how much they miss him. Syndicates that Prince had a significant impact on his audience and left a lasting impression. This, these 13 minutes contain everything that Prince was about. I'll probably show this clip to anyone asking me why I'm such a big Prince fan. Prince could play guitar like a boss, play keyboards, play drums, dance like James Brown, and had an amazing vocal range, not to mention his stage presence. Genius. Yeah, man, that was so much fun, dude. Like, I have... I. I'm energy. I'm all energized, ready to go to work, dude. That's what. That's that's power. That's influence. Amazing, guys. What do you think? Anxious to hear from you all, and um, just thank you for hanging out with me. Doesn't matter how many of you watch and whatnot. I just had so much fun. But to all of you who enjoy re-experiencing your, you know, your first times listening to him and and witnessing this master, um, hope you had a good time. To all of you who support the channel, thank you. Check out the description down below to find more ways to do that. And our the takeaway, may you and I become masterful at what we want to become masterful in, the things that we love. And let's encourage our kids to just focus on becoming masters at the thing they enjoy. Because you have no idea how much that might impact people, right? Much love, everybody. Peace out.